Alrighty! So, originally this video was going to be kind of a bonus video in response to the uh, last week's debates, last week's Democratic debates. But then I got busy with other stuff and I decided to put this video to this week and not make it a bonus video. So, enjoy. I, I know this is kind of late, but enjoy. Anyway. <sighs> Imagine the following scenario. A person goes up to you. And in front of this person, there is a white table. Now, this person puts on the, on the right side of the table a Glock with fully loaded ammo. And on the left side of the table, the person puts bleach. One giant tub of bleach on the table. Now imagine that this person says to you, Hey, you have to make the choice between shooting yourself in the head with the Glock or drinking this tub of bleach. And you have to choose one. And, you, and not only do you have to choose one, but you have a moral obligation to choose one because you have to participate in our democracy. And you'd say, well, no, no, I don't want to die. Both of these options are going to result in me dying. I'd rather just not do any of the choices. But then this person's like, well, y you have a moral obligation to vote for one of these choices. You, you have to vote for either shooting yourself in the head with a Glock or drinking a tub of bleach. Either way, you're going to die, but you have to choose the lesser of the two deaths, the, the less painful of the two deaths, the lesser of two evil, evils. This freaking doesn't make sense. Okay, now let's get to the actual point of this video. The Democratic debates were today and yesterday. Now, I only watched a little bit of it, but from what I heard, it's the typical retarded crap that you hear from liberals. Now, here's the thing. The Democratic Party has become fanatically hostile towards anyone who is not a minority. So, the Democratic Party is really not in our best interests. And if you're watching this YouTube channel, I'm going to assume that you're a white dude that's at least on the right politically. But the Republican Party is in many ways just as bad as the Democratic Party. Sure, they might be against the gun control, they might be against abortion, they might be they might want stronger border security. They they want they may have some sane positions, but the fact that they're crazy when it comes to the issue of foreign policy, particularly our policy towards the state of Israel, kind of cancels out any good positions they may have on issues such as gay marriage or abortion or gun control. So the Republicans are just as bad as the Democrats. What's the purpose What's the point in voting for either one of the two major parties? None. There is absolutely no logical reason why you should support in any way, shape, or form one of the two major parties. 
Now, you could vote for a third-party candidate, but the third-party candidates really aren't any better either. The Libertarians have basically become a lesser, a much smaller version of the Democratic Party, and so is the Green Party. Fundamentally, your vote doesn't matter. Your vote doesn't matter because it doesn't matter which political party wins, things are just going to go to shit anyway. Now, here's the thing. This is what... us red-pilled people fundamentally understand, but normal people don't get. The problems that we're facing in society isn't the result of one particular political party within the democratic system. The, the Republicans people who are like die-hard Republicans make the mistake of thinking that everything that is wrong with society is the result of the Democrats. And if all the Repu and if the Republicans were in charge all the time, things would get better. And the Democrats, or d people who are diehard supporters of the Democratic Party, make the mistake of believing that that all of the problems of society are a result of the Republicans, and if the Democrats were in charge all of the time, then things would get better. Both of these beliefs are false. It doesn't matter which political party is in charge. The problem isn't one political party. The problem is the system. It's the system itself, the democratic system, that is the problem. It is democracy itself. It is the American democratic system that is the problem. So what is a white nationalist? like me or the people that are presumably watching this supposed to do. Don't vote. Look, unless, uh, unless someone like Mark Collette or Richard Spencer or Jared Taylor runs for president, I'm not voting ever again. The only time that I'll ever vote again in this democratic system is if you know, a Mark Collette type character, or a Jared Taylor type character, or a James Olsip type character runs for president. But if it's just a normal Democrat or a normal Republican, don't vote for them. It's not worth it. Nothing good is going to happen. Things are just going to get bad and bad and bad. Okay. Now, some people would argue that you have to vote for the lesser of two evils. Well, first of all, as I said before, at a, fun, at a fundamental level, they're all evil. But even if one of the political parties, the two major parties, was the lesser of two evils, you're still voting for evil. The type of people that insist that you have a moral responsibility to vote, these are basically people who are fundamentally brainwashed, whether they be liberal or conservative. Like, 
if you're the type of person where you're having a conversation with your friend and you're shocked and, and that your friend it tells you that they decide not to vote even if you know that even if, even if you are perfectly aware that your friend has political views completely opposite of yours people still get shocked when they hear that other people don't want to vote and these people are fundamentally brainwashed they think that their vote matters when in reality their vote doesn't matter now one last point I'm gonna make before I end this video when when Trump ran for president he promised all of this change. He promised to tear down the system, but yet he has cucked to Israel. He has actually gotten us further involved in Syria with his airstrikes. He has cucked to the Democrats on immigration. In fact, at his State of the Union address, as I said, as I mentioned in one of my other videos he actually said he wants to he wants immigrants to come into the country in the largest numbers ever so that's definitely cucking on immigration so Trump really hasn't been proven to be a great reformer or a great anti-establishmentarian so there's really nothing left except for the extreme right wing but the extreme right wing doesn't really have any candidates right now. So the logical thing to do is just to refuse to vote. Refuse to participate in, in a democratic system that is against our interests. Don't vote. Okay. So to summarize this video. Do not participate in American elections it's a complete waste of time you're not going to change anything and the system the democratic system is fundamentally against us especially if you're a white male and anyone who says that your vote matters is completely brainwashed thanks for watching if you liked this video or agreed with anything that I said make sure you like comment and subscribe this is Wolf signing out.